Hi, and welcome to the EAS podcast about exercise and nutrition. Abbott Nutrition's EAS brand develops science-based sports nutrition products that meet the specific needs of professional athletes as well as athletes of all levels. And now, the EAS Sports Nutrition Podcast. Hi, I'm Michael Hairston, brand manager for EAS. Today we're talking with Chase Utley of the Philadelphia Phillies about the 2008 season. The Phillies' amazing playoff run last year and about staying in shape during the offseason and the importance of proper nutrition while you're training. Hey, Chase, thanks for joining the show today. Thanks, Mike. Thanks for having me. Looking back to last season, the team didn't get as far in the playoffs as you would have liked. How did you personally prepare this offseason to get ready? Well, I, I, I take the offseason pretty seriously. Uh, I feel like that's my time to get stronger you know, off the field. I've worked out at a place called Athletes Performance for four or five years now, and I really believe in what they do. I'm usually training four, four or five times a week. I usually take about a month off once the season ends, and then I'm back into it four or five times a week all the way up until spring training, which is the beginning of February. So there's really, for me, not that much time off. I took a little vacation to Hawaii for about a week and a half, and to be honest with you, that was it. It was, uh, it was time to go. While you were at Athletes Performance, what did your training consist of? I mean, what are some of the things you did to get yourself in top physical shape? We do a number of different things, uh, a, lot of, a, lot of, a lot of agility stuff, a lot of core core stability training. Everything we do kind of incorporates balance, you know, kind of makes you stronger from the inside out, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Um, There's good stuff over there. The trainers know what they're doing. They're always monitoring you, making sure you're, you're doing things correctly. And I think that's, that's important when you're, when you're working out. So we talked a lot about the physical aspect of your training regimen. What about nutrition? Well, I think nutrition is is almost is just as important as, as actually working out. If you're not if you're not fueling your body with good nutrition after you work out, you're basically wasting your time. I'm a big fan of EAS. I've used I've been using their products uh, for about the same amount of time, four or five years, and I think they're unbelievable. I use them usually with, within 30 minutes of my workout. They're they're shakes. They're easy to easy to drink. They're ready to go. For me, they're extremely convenient, which is important. They also have they have bars that I kind of carry around with me throughout the day and snack on those. So that's how I use them in the off season. So tell me about EAS. How has it helped you during the season, specifically during the game? I do use them during the season when I work out. I don't work out nearly as much during the season as I do in the off season. But when I do choose to work out, I have a shake. But I I usually keep a shake or two around the dugout during the games. You know, playing in Philadelphia. Especially in the summertime, it gets hot and humid, uh, and there's and, you know some games last three or four hours, and, and sometimes I'm dragging a little bit. I'm not going to lie, and and by having the shake on hand, I mean they're easy to get down, easy to digest, obviously quick as well. Kind of refuels me a little bit. So having those around is extremely important for me. As you look toward the season, what's on the agenda for you, and how do you keep the momentum from last year driving you guys forward? Well, I think that's last year we didn't. We, we finished the year strong during the season. Obviously, we lost in the first round of the playoffs. We didn't put put up much of a fight against the Rockies, you know, and that kind of leaves a little bitter taste in our mouth. So I think we have a lot to improve on. We have a lot of guys coming back. We all have an extra year of experience under our belt. And for this team, I think the sky's the limit. We got to stay healthy, obviously, uh, and if we can do that, we can win a lot of games. Man, that's great. One final question for you. This is a podcast we're doing, so the obvious question I have and everyone else has, what song do you listen to on your iPod to get you pumped either for a workout or a game, or even when you're practicing that golf swing? It's a good question. I actually, is it, I just got my first iPod recently. Actually, I've had a few iPods. I've never really used them. I had a buddy of mine download a bunch of songs. Uh, hopefully that's not illegal. <laughs> he uh, put a bunch of songs on there for me. So anything he recommends, you know, something... I grew up in Long Beach. Uh, I'm a big Snoop Dogg fan, so I can deal with that. Wow. Well, thanks again, Chase. We appreciate all your time and all the good tidbits you provided. Best wishes for the upcoming season, and obviously, best wishes for an MVP caliber season. Thanks, Mike. I appreciate it. This is Michael Hairston with EAS. We have been talking to Chase Utley regarding his training regimen and nutrition tidbits, and we want to thank him for his time. Please join us again on a future podcast. Thanks, and be sure to visit www.eas.com. Thanks for tuning in. For more information on EAS, visit www.eas.com.